Let's get into the details for topic 1. Various marketing experts and specialists have given various categories and subdivisions for the functions of marketing. However, the most popular of all of them is the one given by Clark and Clark. He basically they've divided the functions of marketing into three categories. The first being the exchange functions, the second being physical distribution functions and third being the facilitating functions. Under exchange function, the two ones are buying and selling. Let's understand that in further detail. So what is buying? Well, buying is a process which can be undertaken either by the businessman or also by the consumer. It in itself involves four other sub functions. The first function is the function of planning. Well, you need to plan all your functions and all your activities. You need to understand how much quantity you buy, what quality you want to buy and plan the entire thing. The second function under the buying is the contractual function. Over here, the whole process or the whole aim is to locate the right suppliers for buying your particular product. The third function is the function of assembling, which means bringing all the different products and goods from different producers under one single roof is called an assembling function. And finally, the negotiation and the contractual function, that is, to come up with a set of terms and conditions for the entire exchange process and to enter into a contract for the same. That talks about the buying function. The second set of function for exchange is the selling function. Well, this is the actual process of exchange which is created. It yet again talks about the four sub functions. The first function being the function of planning. Well, yet again, the seller needs to plan whom does he need to sell? How does he need to sell? Does he need to use the intermediaries? What channels of distribution should he use? What place that is the distribution techniques he should use? The second being the creation of demand. Well, this includes all the activities and efforts on the part of the seller to induce the buyer to buy his products and his service. The third being the contractual function that is locating the right buyers and making sure that they buy their product. And the fourth one under selling is the negotiation and the contractual which is agreeing on certain terms and conditions and the right price for the goods and services and enter into a contract to achieve the same. The second set of function classified is the physical distribution function. Well, under that yet again there are two sub functions that is transportation and storing. Let's look at each one of it in further detail. What is transportation? Well, transportation is a function which helps us to create or produce goods in large quantity and helps us to attain even the specialization function and helps us to widen the market. That is, it creates the place utility. That is, as already spoken in the previous sessions, when making goods available at the right place, at the place of consumption. For example, wood and timber available in forest, however, they are consumed in the city where there is construction happening, where there are schools. This is only possible and made possible by the function of transportation, which enables us to shift goods and the flow of goods from the producer's place to the consumer's destination in the right shape and in the right quality. The next function being the storage function. Well, storage function is aiding the time utility. Storing is required for various functions. Well, there are certain products which are produced throughout the year but are only consumed at specific time periods. Or there are certain goods which are produced or are available at only specific times or seasons but are required throughout the year. All this is made possible only by the storage function. Well, it creates the time utility that is making the goods available at the right time of consumption or usage. Also storage function is required or utilized by various firms to sell the goods at the right time wherein they know they can fetch good pricing for their product. The next being the facilitating function. Under that we have further sub four categories. First being the financing. Second being the risk taking, third being securing marketing information and fourth being standardization and grading. Well, let's look at each of that into detail. The first being financing. Well, every business requires capital and money. 
And there are certain people who have the capital but who do not want to get into the entire risk taking avenue of business whereas some people have the ideas but do not have the capital. This is where the financing function comes into play. You require money for office, for furniture, for building, for raw materials, for giving credit to your consumers and for every activity of marketing. This whole thing wherein making the finance available or the capital available, the means is called as financing. The second function, risk taking. Every business is accompanied with a lot of risks with it. Even marketing is associated with a lot of risks. Well, there is risk of fire, flood, damage, theft, deterioration, or for that matter, simply change in the demand and supply or in the consumer wants. All of these factors come with a risk attached to it. These risks can be insured partially or wholly. However, most of the risk bearing has to be done by the businessman here or the marketer himself. The third being securing marketing information. Well, this is nothing but conducting a detailed market research. That is collecting information from the consumer, analyzing the information, interpreting it and finally evaluating the marketing information so that the goods and services can be produced on the same lines collected from the market information. Also, marketing information helps us to keep updated with the competitor's work and the competitor's strategy. It also helps us to tell how to update ourselves and innovate continuously in the marketplace. And the final function is the standardization and grading. Standardization is nothing but to get your goods as per the standard. But what is standard? Standard is a specific content or a specific list of specifications which are listed for our product. It could be on the basis of color, shape, content, chemical content, moisture content, anything like that. Making sure having a standard good leads to uniformity. And further subdividing your standardized goods into classes is called as the grading function. With that, we end our topic one.